Ah, yes. Hello, everybody. It's the month of April. You know what that means, Alex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're squeezing out another news dump today in the month uh, of April. In the middle of April. In the middle of April. <laughs> uh, oh, sorry, in the middle of May. We're a little late. Ah. Uh, We've eaten a lot of fiber and we're ready to let loose today. Yes, we are. For the month of April, we have more Fujifilm discontinuation, news on the monkey that's making headlines again, uh, a large format digital camera, a 35mm that can mount new Sony lenses, and news on Casio pulling out of the digital camera market. Okay, so that's uh, that's everything about um, the news dump. That's, yeah, that's yeah. Done. yeah. Cue yeah. that. Yeah, Cue man. the smoke and bam. And we're back! <laughs> well, that's funny. What's Fuji, Fuji film. I don't know what I've done to deserve this. I don't know what we've done to deserve this. I could handle Acros. I could handle the three packs going away. But why did you have to go and take away my dear printing paper? Fuji film will stop selling black and white printing paper by March Not 2020. The printing paper. The printing oh, paper. Oh no, the printing paper. Pull yourself together, man. Jesus. On a quick side note, the startup Lead Large Sense has created the world's first 8x10 digital single shot camera. This is the first of its kind and will retail for $106,000 USD. We've had a look at this. It seems like it's a pretty cool idea, and I think kudos to the company Large Sense for creating it. it it's not very practical. Yeah, it's pretty uh, big. It's pretty big. Yeah. yeah. Uh, big and expensive, not very, you can't really take it around places. <laughs> So yeah, that's our quick thoughts we, on that we've one. We've got this very awkward video. Hi! Hi, welcome Holly. What is that? I've never seen anything like this before in my life. Is it big? <laughs> <laughs> now the camera's loading. There's a frog shit. <laughs> so we've got our fox in the frame. Is it big? <laughs> First, let me take a selfie. Is it big? Yeah, let's forget about that one now. Yeah, yeah. That, was the, that was a super cut. It was, I thought the actual video, but it is pretty funny. Yeah, yeah wipe that from your memories now. <laughs> this whole large sense thing really seems like a lot of monkeying around to try to beat a technology that was perfected maybe 30 years ago with just film. Back in 2011, uh, this photo made its rounds not only being a goofy selfie of Josh, but also by receiving a copyright infringement claim by the animal who took the photo. Can you believe that, Josh? I have rights to that. That's a pretty good summary, Alex, but it's definitely... N Sorry, I was just dropping the control. <laughs> but it's definitely not as simple as that. British nature photographer David Slater has been fighting for his right to call this his photo since it was labelled public domain by the Wikimedia Foundation. Apparently, copyright cannot vest in non-human authors and when a work's copyright cannot vest in a human, it falls to the public domain. Uh, both Josh and I think the copyright should have been given to Slater because he allegedly set up the situation for the monkey. Yeah, for the monkey to take the photo. To right? take the photo. Yeah. Um, despite this, Slater lost the case, which I find absolutely bizarre. I think monkeys have rights, but I don't think there's any way known to man that the monkey would have taken a photo. Like, yeah. It's, it's playing the apes again. Yeah. This, 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 yeah, it's this, this is how it starts, this guys. This is how it starts. We have to stop this They're right taking now. our rights. <laughs> However, this is not why the story is in the news today. That was all news. In September 2015, the people for the ethical treatment of animals, otherwise known as the infamous Peter, filed a lawsuit against Slater claiming that the copyright should be given to the monkey, which they weirdly named Naruto. The 9th US Circuit Court of Appeals, Josh, took up the case, finally reached a ruling claiming that the monkey lacked statutory standing because the Copyright Act does not expressly authorize animals to file copyright infringement suits. They also go on to question the organization's motives, providing a statement saying, puzzlingly, 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 while representing to the world that animals are not asked to eat, wear, or experiment on, use for entertainment or abuse in any way, Peter seems to employ Naruto as its unwitting pawn in its ideological goals. And Peter responded with a statement that every man dreads to hear and never really understands. You missed the point. Oh boy, do I, I, I really don't like hearing that. They followed this statement with a Naruto the Macaque, 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 Macaque. 
undeniably took the photos and denying him the right to sue under the US Copyright Act emphasizes what Peter has argued all along that he is discriminated against simply because he's a non-human animal. You could say it's a pretty hairy situation, Alex. Isn't that because he's hairy? Yeah, the monkey, monkeys are pretty wow. hairy. Uh. So you called him a monkey, now he's calling you a monkey, so what's the size? Uh, I'm, I'm not calling him monkey. Wait, you just called him you a called monkey. You called me a monkey. You're calling him hairy. <laughs> Why are you calling me I a monkey? I wasn't Sorry. calling him hairy. You call him hairy. I said it was a hairy situation because wow. it, I didn't. Uh, but you can't, it was supposed to be a pun. It looks like a you called me a monkey. You called him a monkey. Because he's hairy. But you called him a monkey. That was not the intention. You called him a monkey. Okay, alright, alright. Are you wanting that side? You guys can settle this later. I hope that's later. Settle this later. Settle this. <laughs> settle this later. Ah, <laughs> later. Uh, bazinga. Now, on to our famous segment called um, <laughs> Stuff That We Think You Should Check Out This this Month. You don't want to say all that? I don't want to say all <laughs> that's that. A big, that's a big one. Yeah, can you show them that? Yeah, just put that in the video. Yeah, this is what we yeah. originally <laughs> had yeah. written down. I've been looking at Nathan Gillum's Instagram down there. Some cool stuff, cool 35 mil photos. Yeah. Yeah, friend of ours. Legend. Check out Nathan. Yeah, uh, how about you, Josh? So my thing for the month is uh, uh, ch check out G-Wash. J-E-L-O-S-H. -E Do you have anything local? Uh, yeah, I probably saw a photo on Facebook on my Facebook feed that someone took. Don't know the photo. I liked it though. It was, it was pretty good. It had this sunset in it. It was really great. <laughs> and like, oh, wow, you're describing the, every picture ever taken it ever. It had the horizon in it. Um, <laughs> the horizon. The horizon. <laughs> the horizon. Um, there was a sunset and then there was the sun and there was the horizon. Moving on. Uh, uh, moving, moving on. on. <laughs> moving on. Some pretty interesting news coming in where somebody has 3D printed a 35mm camera with a full frame Sony e -Lens mount. Whoa. Hey, if it's 3D printed, that means we can grab the we can recreate it with a 3D if we if we hack them and like we can we can re, we can reverse engineer it and make it a run. There's no need for this, Josh. I, can't, I don't I don't do that. There's no need for this, Josh, my dumb dumb friend. Uh, the creator of this so-called Lux project has announced what? that <laughs> <laughs> That sounded that sounded fancy, dude. Has announced that everything is going to be open source, Josh. Open source! Does that mean like. Yeah, so good open source, source can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. They opened my job. Yeah. Jars, they did. I'm too, I'm, too, I'm too weak. Maybe. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Um, and oh. they're going to release a design for people to print for themselves and hopefully work on it. So apparently, the Lux design does not have an ability for the camera to actually talk to the Sony lens electronically. But Alexander G, the programmer and creator of the project, has stated that. This feature is in the works, so that means eventually it might have auto exposure and auto focus, but at the moment it does not. All right, cool. Um, That's yeah, a but, pretty good basis, a pretty yeah. good grounds for. Exactly, yeah. But right now it has a stabilization technology. I am hoping this is just the beginning uh, of consumers creating cameras that pair the digital age with the analog age. Yeah, it's the way of the future. So. The way of the future. Ooh. Ah. Which means going backward, but also going forward. You guys uh, should know the popular company Casio for their pretty good watches. One other thing that you probably didn't know, as we didn't know, is that... They make digital compact cameras apparently. They don't want who, who, who to thunk it? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have. I don't know what you're laughing for. We all didn't thunk it. Yeah. No. I'm very excited that we know that now. Yeah. But so, also, I am kind of devastated now as well. Why are you devastated, Just learning Josh? about that. Well, they're pulling out of the they're pulling out of the digital camera game. Uh, did, 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 did you get that? <laughs> what I meant was they're pulling out of the digital camera game. That means they're not making digital cameras anymore. Actually, I was lying to you. I knew I knew I knew I knew Casio made cameras. I had a huge collection. I had every single Casio camera. I have every single Casio camera. They're right next to my Polaroid phones and my Microsoft Ryman collection. <sighs> wow, you can't you can't make this shit up. All right, we'll get over that speed hump that Josh just created. He just <laughs> little plonked, obstacle there. Just plonked it down. Apparently, in the fiscal year that ended in March 2017, Casio reported a loss of 500 million yen. It's a lot of yen. Oh, that's my that's my line. <laughs> roughly roughly equivalent to 4.6 million dollars. Wow, e wow, e. 
they've come to the conclusion that there's no market growth or increase in market share that can be expected uh, in the future. So, hmm. Casio was one of the pioneers in early compact digital cameras, apparently. Back in 1995, they released the Casio QV10, which was the first camera to use an LCD screen to frame an image, which as we all know is how we take photos. Yeah, nowadays, I mean, that's pretty know. pivotal how today. Consumers regularly take their photos with like, smartphones. I, I assume you probably wouldn't have expected that at the time. They wouldn't have yeah. thought this is going to be in every camera. They probably thought and, it was stupid. Yeah. Like Digifilm, like putting a useless winder. Yeah. They probably thought it was stupid. And in, you know, you know 10, 15 but, years, maybe that'll be the norm again. Yeah, exactly. And we could be just not relevant anymore. What a sad time that would be. Are we relevant now? So we're not relevant. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna have let you guys have a good hard look at yourselves for a second, okay? Is it big? Yeah, yeah. I'm freezing yeah, my there hands you go. off right now, and the, the mouse yeah, is go. here, and then I put the mouse in this, and then I scroll down so they can. Can read we it. can we have um can we have Lockwood in the frame at all times now? Yeah? Uh, Casio had stopped producing cameras for most of the world, with the only exception being in their home country, Japan. Uh, their last model was the 12 megapixel ZR5000. Although us Generation Zs don't really come to appreciate Casio as much as, you know, I'm assuming they would like to. We do really have to respect them, you know, for what being one of the first ones in the game. It's almost like if my favorite company, the best company, Nokia, stopped making smartphones. Well, that's... It would be devastating for the whole world. Everybody would be in tears, I'm assuming. What? Is it the best company? Are these real questions that you're asking? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so that's about it. Thanks very much for turning up, and if you've made it this, this far, we appreciate it. And um, if there's anything we missed, comment down below. Bye-bye. See ya. Bye. Say Ooh, bye. Say bye to yourself. Bye-bye. Say bye, Lachlan. See ya. Wave. Nah, my hands are cold. <laughs> wow, wait a minute.